Do you know me? It's frightening how many novels of suspense I've written. But still, when I'm not recognized, it just kills me. So instead of saying I wrote carry, I carry the American Express card. So we're talking about Stephen King. He's the author of 54 novels, uh, six nonfiction books, and almost 200 short stories. So he's a little bit prolific. Michener by the pound. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Better word. Exactly. Um, I read somewhere that he had a his daily output when he's working is uh, ten pages a day. So that's a lot. That's pretty good. That's every day. Double sided. <laughs> I don't know about double sided, but it's every day except his birthday and Christmas. Wow. So I can see why he's got so many books. There's been 95 films, TV movies, and TV shows based on his works. I always like Stephen King's, and this is a bit off topic, yep. his collaborations with Peter Straub. Right. Ghost yeah. Story. Well, The Talisman oh, yeah. is one of my favorites. And The Talisman, yeah. That is one movie that I really want him to make, and it's gone nowhere. Because you know. it's not, it's it's a bit more well, supernatural. There's just something about yeah. the books that are a bit less tangible right like stephen king's books are so relatable because they're so detailed and the characters are so like somebody you know or right. Right. you get so attached to them i just found that the peter straub's books are a little less that's true you can't grasp them to the same way that's true and i said you, you said ghost story is that the ghost story that was made into a movie in the 80s yeah with fred astaire fred astaire and mm-hmm. all the old guys yep mm-hmm. and al is it alice krieg yes as a ghost yes Cat- like Borg queen and and Star Trek first contact. Catwoman right. or what was she it? Played no. Catwoman? No, no, not Catwoman. Um, Catwoman. Some cat movie with Oh uh, cat, peop- cat, cat people. Cat people. Yes. Yeah. She was in that? Claudia Kint- Klinsky or whatever her name is. No, was. I'm no. thinking of another one. It was a terrible movie. But it always stuck in my mind and she had a son. Oh. I'll have to look it up. Huh. It wasn't Pet Cemetery, was it? No. There was a cat in that. That was a very disturbing movie. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about that. All right. Um and actually uh what I wanted to talk about first was um, the uh, my first experience uh, reading Stephen King. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's not under, this kind uh, of show. The cover, under the covers. <laughs> yeah, hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm not going second, so I want to see where you're going with this. Um, so the first Stephen King book I ever read was Pet Cemetery, and uh, I actually borrowed it from our high school library. Isn't that funny? Like would well, they it's not do funny, haha, but would they do that now? Have Oh, you mean uh, you don't think they would have the books at all? Yeah. Why not? Yes, they would. Sure. Because Steve Pet Cemetery had some pretty adult situations in it. Right? I guess it depends on what uh I like, mean maybe not in a Do you really think they would have Pet Cemetery in a high school uh, library now? That's yes. funny. Really? Yeah. Wow. I do. Yeah. I don't That's think. so funny. I always thought it was kind of strange that 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 they would have that there, but um Pet Cemetery, like I've read you know, a lot of Stephen King books, and every one has on the cover, you know, they've got critics' uh, quotes, and it's like terrifying and and frightening, you know, make your hair stand on end. And I've not really been really scared of any Stephen King book except for Pet Cemetery. Yeah, it is a terrifying book. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's because it's a but. Well, I guess it starts with the pet and then becomes. Can we spoil the book? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll put that in the front because <laughs> there'll be a lot All of spoilers. Right. Well, I obviously, think, in this you know, the, the the cat coming back is is terrifying. But then, you know, when they're when when the kid dies, yeah, Gage. Is that the yeah, name? Oh, yeah. oh, I remember yeah. that book scarred me. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it and having a, kids, I can't even think about. Yeah. You know the creepy uh, uh, neighbor. Uh, well, the creepy neighbor across the yeah, road, Jed, Jed Crandall. But then. <laughs> The uh, the plot that's behind their place that they they discovered that yeah. I, the whole thing yeah. is just duh. you know what we know what I really pull out of that book I mean there's a lot of scary situations but the sequence where he, Judd is is showing him the burial ground like church their cat has died on the road and it's the he's got a daughter and she's distraught so J- Judd I think his name is Judd he uh, takes uh, uh, Lewis takes him to the actual Indian, Indian burial ground where this stuff happens, where you'll bury something and it'll come back to life. And that whole sequence where he's leading him through is just masterfully written. Like it's creepy and it's o- ominous as dread. There's it is it's of dread. full of dread. Just this this trip where Jed's, uh, Jed's almost hypnotized because that's the pull of this, of this plot 
is it pulls people to it to do this thing, right? Well, I remember when I read the book, which might have been my first as well. Yeah. Oh, there I go, going on my, you know, <laughs> pop my cherry. It wasn't my <laughs> first. <No. laughs> I'll leave it at that. Uh, I can remember, you know, getting halfway through the book and thinking, well, wait a minute, you know, they brought the cat back to life, but that's not the whole book, is it? Right. Like, what? Of course not. And then you start, you know, there's the whole scene with the kid, you know, heading towards the road and your your heart just sinks. And you think, oh, no, don't do it. Right. But they do. But they have to do it. Yeah. And I think, again, Stephen King's books were always, I found they oh, you could always relate to the characters. Like they, He oh, yeah. gave you so much detail right. that you felt like you knew them or you could be them. And right. somehow it made it even the most outlandish story more believable because somehow you right. felt His some characters connection. are very grounded. They they're, are. They're, they're like and relatable. They be, yeah, yeah. people you would meet in the street or Somebody you know. Somebody you know. know. <laughs> or relative. Right. Well, that's his whole thing is he takes these characters that you completely relate to and then he just puts them in the pressure cooker in these terrible situations right yeah. and then you like feel so much as they go through this 